uh, tell about uh, maximum power point tracking of PV systems. Nowadays, PV is one of the most important renewable energy source because of the advantages of clean and safe energy and it can directly transfer solar energy to electrical energy and also it is a very reliable energy source and uh, also it is very inexpensive. So that is why we uh, uh, here now uh, I am going to tell about maximum power point tracking of PV systems. So in, in the uh, uh, here uh, we uh, have sunlight most of the time in the year. So we can use PV uh, as uh, one of the renewable energy source. Output power of PV depends upon different environmental conditions. That is uh, temperature, illumination and wind speed. If temperature changes, then uh, uh, current output current from PV is also changed and output voltage level of the PV also changed. That I can show you from here that uh, if uh, illumination level changes from 200 watt per meter square to 400 watt per meter square, then current is also changing and uh, then maximum power point uh, is also changed. So that is why uh, we always need to uh, sense max PV voltage and current to track the maximum power point for different illumination level and temperature. This is the current uh, versus voltage diagram of PV and this is power versus voltage diagram of PV. As we can see that uh, uh, power versus voltage diagram is non-linear in nature. During short circuit condition that and uh, open circuit condition power will be zero. So uh, that's uh, and uh, there exists only one maximum power point for a particular environmental condition. So uh, here is the uh, this is the maximum power point of the PV. Uh, that current uh, this is current during short circuit condition and as we go towards open circuit condition current curve uh, will show like this. And this is the uh, power increase from zero and it reaches maximum power point and it go to again uh, zero. This is open circuit condition and this is short circuit condition and maximum power exists somewhere uh, between uh, here and here. As uh, illumination level changes, then that time what happens? Uh, maximum power change from here to here. So uh, all the time we will not get uh, the same maximum point, uh, maximum power point. Uh, uh, the if illumination level uh, reduces, then maximum pow power from the PV output is also reduced. We uh, power conditioning unit we use to track the maximum power point. And this is the power conditioning unit here we use boosting plus MPPT in uh, one stage that we uh, use to track the maximum power point as uh, only one maximum power point exists in particular environmental condition and we want to use PV uh, at its maximum power. So we need to track maximum power point. So uh, to track maximum power point different algorithm is provided that is our hill climbing method, part time and observe method, incremental conduction method. Here we have used part time and observe method to track the maximum power point. This is the circuit diagram of the boost converter that I am going to show you now. This is the PV array that is connected uh, uh, to a voltage sensor and also a current sensor. All, all the time we sense current and voltage and uh, we uh, track the maximum power point. This is a, con a simple boost converter that L1 is the inductor of the boost converter and S is the switch of the boost converter. Here in switch uh, switching signal we do MPPT plus switching in one uh, uh, microcontroller chip and this is the output load connected to the boost converter. Uh, this uh, actually we have a PV panel in our ter terrace. So from there uh, we are uh, this wire is coming. So this wire is connected to this boost converter. This is the boost converter. Uh, this is inductor of the boost converter. This is the cap output capacitor of the boost converter. This is capacitor connected at the output of the PV. And this is the uh, microcontroller for switching signal. And uh, these are the diode and the switch of the boost converter. So here uh, we uh, do MPPT plus switching. So as you can see, as uh, we go from uh, open, open circuit to short circuit condition, that power is also increasing here and it is this is maximum power and then it is decreasing.
this is the maximum power here it, this is um, uh, open circuit condition this is short circuit condition here it is maximum power this is maximum voltage and this is the current uh, flowing through the piece 